My name is Monica Melaria, and you're watching Music Tonight. Hey, this is Legan with Music Unite, and we are proudly sponsored by Music Go Round. Welcome to Music Unite, this is James. We're on the tour bus with a couple of members of As Blood Runs Black. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Dan, play guitar. I'm a legend, I beat things up. I would take that to mean you're playing the drums. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So you guys are on the, uh, what tour are you guys on right now? What's it called? We're uh, on the Rash and the Burns tour. I mean, I mean Thrash and Burns. I thought it was Thrash, Thrash and Burn. Burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice. So we're we're stopping here in Albuquerque, New Mexico tonight, sitting on the tour bus, giving a nice evening with these guys. Uh, what's the name of your new record? It's called Instinct. Came out in uh, March, was it? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it was, a, it was a pretty hard record to get out, but it really it's doing what we wanted it to do, and it's it's pretty it sends a good message. It's what we wanted to say. It's, it comes doing well. All right. First off, let's talk about Instinct. Uh, where can people pick that up? To be honest, I don't even know. Uh, I mean, probably like the generic places to get it, but I mean, I, mean, I don't want to say too much, but I don't even know. We don't even have records with us. I'm talking about this. Uh, people download music anyways. And we care more about people coming to the shows and hanging out. Yeah. Like you guys having beers with people, making friends, fuck it. Yeah, we really just want people to have the music and just know the songs when they come to the shows and be willing to have a good time, you know? So you guys have a website? Yeah, your typical Facebook show. Yeah, so hey, we have Facebook. My, I don't even know if MySpace is even alive anymore. I don't know, is it? Anybody? You guys, you know? <laughs> it's, it's dead. It's dead. Yeah, yeah but, but Facebook is like a <laughs> choice, I guess. But uh, we got Twitter, all that bullshit. Yeah. But, yeah. Nice. So, where have you guys gone on the Instinct tour, pushing this record? What kind of venues have you played? Uh, we did we did a lot of cool stuff this year actually. Um, it was kind of a rebuilding stage with this lineup and uh, coming back into the scene. You know, been gone for a while, been changing members like underwear. And uh, we went what, we did went to Europe twice next last year. I think we're going three times next year. I'm not supposed to say that. Oops. But uh, I mean, we we get a great response out there. I think better yeah. better than out here. European fans uh, are fucking crazy. Nice. They really are. Yeah, it's it's a great touring cycle. I think it's time to take time off and. Maybe write a new record, but every time we say that, it never comes out. So I'm gonna take that back. I know you guys. It'll happen. It'll happen. You briefly mentioned lineup. I know you guys have had some significant lineup changes. How's this lineup working for you guys? I think this is the best lineup. I think this is the best we ever sounded. Um, I think it's the most solid lineup we we've, we've ever had. And no one, we haven't changed in a whole year and a half. Over a year, yeah. And that's uh, coming up on two. That's rare in this band. So I think I think we got it. Yeah. Feels good, sounds good. It's, we got it finally. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. So this uh, this current lineup were they the ones that you guys wrote Instinct with? Did you guys put your heads together? And how? What kind of headspace did you guys get into to write your new? Well, stuff? yeah, Instinct was kind of tricky. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that went down with like member changes and relationships with the the industry. And uh, Dan came in. Uh, when he already wrote the record basically. He came in laid down some leads. I used to help his old band, which is like a phenomenal band, Fallen Figure, and I, I loved his work, guitar work on there. So uh, when oh, I needed yeah. I needed some leads on the record, I'm a drummer, you know, I wrote guitar riffs, I could do that, but I can't write solos. So once I needed the favor to write some solos, I called Dan up and said, Yeah, for sure, jumped in, went in there, laid the tracks down and I, I don't regret it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. We had, we had like a couple days to do it and it turned out really fucking solid. Oh, yeah, and then Sonic, we've known Sonic forever with Fallen Figure as well, and then he came in and played, laid down the tracks in like two weeks. And we had like, uh, we were looking for a vocalist for about a whole year, and that was kind of mind-boggling. And we, we recorded a record with the past vocalists, and it took, what, like six months? And then we took him on tour, and he quit the first week of tour, and called Sonic in, and Sonic flew, flew him in first class, and Finished the tour, finished the record in two yeah, weeks. Yeah. We, we came back and we yeah. wrote those lyrics in like a week for the record. Fucking, it was it was stress, man. It was stress. Yeah. It's one of those. It was one of those records that took on the surface or on paper took like four years it would look like, but it really took like a month of studio time. Yeah. In reality, of what was used, so it's kind of kind of pathetic looking back. But you think the the stress of all of that? 
applied to the aggressiveness of the record. You think that showed uh, the, yeah, in the message is, totally? Yeah. yeah, I think so. It also has a yeah. I can. It's funny just because I know what we were going through at the time. So listening back to it, it's kind of it's kind of funny. But mm -hmm. at least you know if uh, the world allows us to write another record, then we'll have more time and be less stressed. So maybe it might sound more pussy. Who knows? <laughs> So do you guys see yourself um, carrying on with this kind of life ten years from now? Ooh, I don't know. I'll be I'll be involved in the music industry some, somehow, some way. I don't know about touring. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty rough. Been doing it for I don't know five, ten years, <laughs> twenty years, twenty five years. <laughs> so you guys have any horror stories on uh, road dogging it? Horror stories. Yeah. Stories that can't be told. Yes. Disney rated or X rated? Oh, user friendly. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. It's it's kind of tough to say s stuff without getting in trouble or getting I could tell the, other uh, people in trouble. I could tell the RV uh, disposal dump story. Oh yeah, yeah, that one's funny. That's a funny one. Uh, <laughs> all right, we were on the uh, Atticus Metal tour. What month was this? It was this spring. This it spring, we were out with uh, Born of Osiris and uh, Darkest Hour, Human Abstract, and we were we had an RV at the time. And we, you know, we, we pee in the RV, do our thing in the RV, some things get flushed or whatever, and we have to, we have to dump the RV, you know, the, the urine tank once in a while, and we didn't have a place to do it, so we just kind of like, went to like this little neighborhood and kind of just like released the valve and just like, and drove through the all these houses yeah. and these cars, and there's just like, it's like a tissue paper like sticking to cars and like. You know what, you guys were marking your territory. We right? were. <laughs> no one, it's ours. Nice. I won't say who was there, where it was. It wasn't us, actually. It was a story we heard. So, uh, on the road, also, you guys got to take your your gear with you. What kind of what kind of endorsements are you guys carrying with you on this tour? Um, right now, we are running a uh, Angle Savage 120 rig. Both me and Greg are the guitarist. Uh, Angle hooked us up with those and the fucking phenomenal amps. Um, I'm using ESP guitars. <laughs> I'm using uh, ESP guitars right now, and uh, they feel amazing too. I've been, I've been playing those before I was even in this band. I've been playing those for like five years. So when I joined this band and they contacted us and said they were down, I was beyond stoked, you know what I mean? I jumped at that immediately. And I've been using uh, Dava picks for a long time. I've been using those for like three years maybe now. The most innovative picks I've ever used, honestly. Like they've changed my technique, my playing, my tone. It's really an amazing thing. I love them. You what kind of kid you playing? Playing a Crush Kids, a very fairly new company actually. They came out I think last fall, and uh, the drums sound great. Great company, great group of guys down down there in Florida. The drums sound great. They look fucking sexy. What the fuck was that? That was my phone. <laughs> uh, I play Savian Symbols. I love them. We have a great relationship. That's like the first symbol company that I, you know played. So it's good to start to share. Business relationship with the company and that took my virginity with symbols. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Big Firth too. I love Big Firth. They they hooked me up with with cool sticks, black these black sticks I like. Look like magic wands, but I mean that's it. I want to get more shit, but we'll see. Yeah, we're working on it. Yeah, that's good. Still moving up. Still got things to do. Nice. So if uh, if you could shout out to somebody, if you could see yourselves, let's say ten years ago. What kind of advice would you guys give yourselves about becoming musicians? To pick up a different style. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make money instead. No I'm kidding. Um, honestly, I won't change a fucking thing. I love I love what I'm doing. I love playing guitar. The reason why I play metal is because I love a challenge. Like I'm into, you know, flamenco and classical guitar nice. stuff, and I'm into metal. It's because they're challenging and because it's it's different on the ear. You know what I mean? Right. And. Uh, those are the things that I've stuck to, you know, for for long ass time. I just love a challenge, and I love performing every night, intensity and, and passion. And it's a good time. Touring is fucking great. I don't think if I was in a pop band, we would tour the same. I don't think it'd be as crazy or wild. Honestly, I, I know. As I was rolling in here uh, in front of the venue, I saw several people wearing those Bloods black shirts, and I kind of shouted that out in the window. Everybody was like, "Yeah, you yeah. guys got a fan base here." That's oh, good. Yeah. It's That's cool that people still care about us because a lot of bands that are our position and they don't really get this opportunity like us. So we feel pretty grateful that people still somewhat pay attention to us. It doesn't matter if it's one person or no person.
Yeah. I feel bad. <coughs> yeah, there's, there seems to be a fresh audience kind of coming in every every couple of years. It seems like we're getting a new wave of them now. It's really really cool to see them kind of taking hold of this, the new the new scene. I guess it seems like a new scene to me. I don't know. It seems like a younger crowd nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it's like a new generation. Mm-hmm. It's like the new cycle or whatever you call it. Next gen metal. Come yeah. on. <laughs> this is James with Music Unite. We're here with As Blood Runs Black.